What's up guys? I'm back with another episode of my unique weapon guide for Borderlands the pre-sequel and I swear that intro changes every time I do it but today we're going to be looking at the Wombat. Now, you may look at this gun and you may see some form of similarity to the, uh, the Borderlands 2 Landscaper. It is, but it's a better version of the Landscaper. At least. It's, um, it's usable. It's not garbage. It is usable. Uh, it has 130% bonus weapon damage, consumes 2 ammo per shot, and because it's a Torg, it'll always be explosive, but to get this, you want to go to Danny and accept the missions Zapped 3.0. Now, you're going to have to do the two previous Zapped missions before this, and to get that, you go out into Triton, that Triton place. Triton Flats, is it? It's the, it's the really big moony area. And uh, it's one of the side missions there. Can't show you it exactly, but it's easy enough to find. Um, you just go around and kill stuff with a laser. And that's basically what you're doing here. You're going to corrode clap trap units with a laser. And then Mr. Torg is going to be like, hey, I don't like laser guns. I want to destroy them all. And he has you uh, bring it out into the Serenity Waste so he could fire a giant spaceship at the gun and destroy it. That's his war on laser guns. Um, there's no laser guns in Borderlands 2 because Torg destroyed them all. How do you do it so fast? I don't know. But anyway, once you've done you're going to get the Wombat from Torg because uh, he's very happy that you helped him destroy laser weapons because they don't explode. They are guns of light, and he does not like guns of light, but yet he had no problem with E-Tech weapons in Borderlands 2. But I digress. Uh, maybe he just gave up. But here is the Wombat. Mine is not casual. Um, it is times five. Every Wombat, besides a casual Wombat, will be times five. Um, and basically, when I said this is like the Landscaper, it's like the Landscaper. Uh, it fires the same way. It fires your projectiles, like... It fires them, and then, like, there are many grenades. If they walk over them, they will explode. It's not like the Landscaper in Borderlands 2, where, um, uh, after a little bit of time, they would rise up and explode on their own. No. And... Unlike the Landscaper, if you hit your enemies with the projectiles, it will actually hurt them. The Landscaper, I don't, do not believe, did that. I believe it just stuck there and waited. It had, it had like a timer. It's like you're setting up mines with a gun. This, however, the second the projectiles come in contact with the enemy, they will explode. Or if they're stuck in the ground for a while, they will explode when their timer goes up. So it is a pretty uh, decent Torg shotgun. It's not anything like the the sword explosion, which is probably the best Torg, at least best Red Text Torg shotgun we have ever gotten. I mean, honestly, a casual Hulk would be better than this, and that's just a purple, but or like any rarity, honestly. But this is still not a bad gun. It works pretty well on Isla because you could always hit those projectiles rather easily because it does have a weird like star spread. And I'm and with the prefix, uh, with a casual prefix, it's an even weirder star spread type deal. Um, very 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 strange gun. But it does do damage. It does put in some some decent work. Uh, is it like end tier? Uh, like you know, one of those end gun, like those end game guns you want to like save the side quest for. Um, I don't want to say yes. I don't want to say no either, because I can't think of any shotgun in this game that's actually worth using in end game. Uh, the only thing that comes to mind is Viral Marketer, and that's not even that great. <laughs> So, uh, it, it depends on you. It's a cool looking gun, it's a cool looking skin. It, it does some pretty decent work. It's pretty easy uh, to get the hang of. And with Nisha, you know, it's a lot easier to use. But anything's easier to use with Nisha because she's Nisha and she's broken, and I love every second of it. But, but yeah, it's definitely a good gun. Definitely, definitely good. It's way better than its, uh, I don't, I want to say predecessor, but this is a prequel, a pre-sequel, so, <laughs> it's way better than the Landscaper, if you remember the Landscaper from Borderlands 2, don't let, uh, that gun turn you away from this one, this one is way better, again, it's not, like, super, super great, but it is way, way better, there probably are, um, there, well, there are better shotguns out there, but, as far as unique Torg ones go, this is probably, I think, the only one you could get, I'm not entirely sure, but, at least it's not bad, at least it's not bad. Not like it's not like the last unique weapon guide with that whole asteroid belt thing. Nobody remembers that unique weapon guide, okay? Nobody remembers it. But yeah, that that like uh that guy just kind of exploded. <laughs> but that's Torg for you, giving you the the finest of explosive weaponry. Nothing but the finest. It, you know, it'd be nice if this was a sword explosion instead, but I don't think they're bringing back DLC guns. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about the wombat. 
if you are going to get one, you probably want to go for the casual prefix, just because the casual prefix is always better on any shotgun. Ca casual, practicable, wrestlers, I don't know them all by heart, but anything that has a vertical grip is better than anything without a vertical grip, at least when it comes to the shotties. But... Yeah, Nisha's kind of just blowing everybody away. Literally, that rhymed. And I think I kind of get myself killed in the explosions. Gotta watch out for that, guys. Gotta watch out for that. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it. I'm going to die here because this gun got me killed. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.